Welcome teachers. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the key steps for using assessments with Google Classroom so that you can quickly get started. First, let's walk through getting a teacher account. Start at assessments.org and click sign up in the upper right hand corner of the page. Choose login with Google. You'll be prompted to log in with your Google ID. Make sure this is the Google ID associated with your Google Classroom account. If your school's G Suite has not tagged you as a teacher, you will have to request a teacher role at this time and we will manually approve you. You know you're logged in because you'll see your name appear in the upper right hand corner of the page. Let's get started with step one, creating an assignment. You're going to start at assistments.org and click on explore content in the bar at the top. Here is where, you're, where you'll find all of the available content that we have for you to assign to students. Open educational resources, textbook curriculum, skill builders and problem sets, and release date tests. You're going to go ahead and click through the folders until you find the content that you want to assign to students. Once you reach the lesson level, you'll see a selection of questions from that lesson that you can assign to. You can choose to assign all problems or make a selection by checking off the boxes on the left of the problem ID. Once you've made your selection, click on Assign to Google Classroom. You can import your classes that already exist from Google Classroom and they'll populate on this list where you can assign to one class or multiple classes. Click Next. On this screen, you have the option to change the assignment name and you can set a release date and a due date. Once you're done making modifications, click Assign, and you will receive a success message letting you know that your assignment has pushed to Google Classroom. And at this point, you can choose View, and you can see where the assignment has populated on your Google Classroom account, both in the Stream tab and also on the Classwork tab. Step two, the student experience. Your student will access their assignment by logging into their Google Classroom. They'll be able to see the assignment in their Stream tab and also in their Classwork tab. When they click on their assignment, they'll see an assessments link inside. They should click on the assessments link. The very first time the student logs in, they will be prompted to log in with their school ID and also create account. Again, they won't be asked for any additional information at this time. Now we're in the student tutor. In the student tutor, the student will see one question at a time and they will receive immediate feedback for the answers that they submit. If a student gets their answer correct on the first attempt, they get the message correct and they can move on to the next problem. If a student does not get the answer correct on the first try, they receive the messaging, sorry, try again. And they do have multiple opportunities to arrive at the correct answer and now they can move on to the next problem. Some students may struggle with a particular problem and they're not going to be able to arrive at the correct answer on their own, even though they're given multiple opportunities. They'll be able to press show answer over on the right hand side and that's gonna allow them to type in the correct answer so they can move on with the assignment. And lastly, um, some of the questions that we have in assessments are open response. So a student can type in their answer or submit answers in different types, such as uploading a picture, uh, linking a video, or creating a table of values. Students are not going to get immediate feedback just because the nature of the open response question, but their answers are recorded for the teacher to see. When a student is finished with their assignment, they will be able to get a student report, which summarizes the work that they've done. This brings us to step three, assessing class performance. To access student data, you'll log into your Google Classroom account and click on the Classwork tab. Scroll down and find the assignment you'd like to view data for. When you open assi the assignment, you'll see the assistance link. Click here to access the assignment report. A few things to note on this report. You'll be able to see the whole class average and then the whole class average by question. 
you'll get to see the correct answers, of course. And then if there was any common wrong answers, those will be shown here. The rows will give you individual information on each student. You'll have the average score per student. You'll get to see their first response that they typed in. You'll get to see how much time they spent on the assignment. And then the symbols within the report tell you how many attempts it took to arrive at the correct answer. And now we conclude with step four, analyzing answers together as a class. Use the report to identify trends in your data. Use the data to inform what problems you review as a whole class or in small groups. For example, identify concepts that you're going to need to review as a class. You can sort the report to see which students are going to need additional support. You can also look at the highlighted boxes to see which questions students really struggled on. The yellow box indicates students need to press, needed to press show answer in order to move on to the next problem. This video reviewed the key steps for getting started with assistance and Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.